Dutch movement, a term that combines the words smooth and movement, said to have originated from the New York smash scene. It's a word that can be used to easily describe movement in a game that's smooth, but on top of that, movement in a game that's very technical. Even though this term is usually used only in an FGC setting, in my opinion, there's a few single player games you can play on your own that allow you to quote smooth. And today's video is on one of those games, Spider-Man 2. Before I start, I need to go over how this review is going to work. We aren't going to go over combat, story, graphics, none of that. Just the movement and all the different ways you can take advantage of the mechanics in place. This includes stuff that is very technical, and you would only see some of the stuff I'm going to go over if you watched a speedrun rather than a casual playthrough. I'm going to start by breaking down each mechanic individually, then afterwards how it feels when you combine everything and why it's fun. At the very end, I'm going to rate the movement a score out of 10. And with all that said, let's just, just jump, jump into in. it because the very first mechanic I'm going to break down is the jump. Spider-Man can charge his jumps by holding the jump button. Let go of the jump button when the meter is full, and Spider-Man will jump really high in the air. You can get a little bit more height by double jumping, and one thing to note about the double jump is that it won't break your momentum. So you can only double jump while rising up to get a little bit more height, and if you try to use it while your momentum is sending you downwards, it won't do anything. Holding the turbo button and jumping will do a long jump. When fully charged, a long jump will send Spider-Man flying forwards more than upwards. And lastly, you can also jump off a wall while you're hugging it. Before I move on, one thing I want to make clear is that charging your jumps applies that extra force to extra action, not just jumping off of the ground. This includes jumping off from a web. Speaking of webs, you can start swinging at any point by pressing the right trigger. And if you do this while you're on the ground, Spider-Man will do a short hop before shooting out the web. You can manually aim where you shoot the web by holding the left stick in the direction you want to go before pressing the swing button. This is probably the most important detail for mastering the swinging in this game. While you're on a web, you can either hit L or the turbo button to boost. You can boost more than once on a single web line after a few second cooldown. Tapping the jump button will make Spider-Man let go to start a new web line, and charging jump will make you leap off of it. You can also shoot out a second web and hold onto it by pressing the web swinging button a second time instead of jumping off of it. You can't really do much with this move besides the cannonball, a move that's only really good for flinging you backwards, and it's also a little janky so it's not very useful. Something that is useful though is the web zip. Pressing L and R at the same time will let you web zip forward with a little bit of upwards momentum. It's a versatile move that can be used in a lot of situations, but is really good when you need that small extra boost forwards. A detail about the web zip is that it completely cancels any momentum you have, so it's really useful for controlling Spider-Man, but isn't the best move for keeping your speed and going fast. The last mechanic I'm going to go over is wall running. Unlike in Spider-Man 2018, in this game, you actually have to do an input yourself to wall run. This is done by holding turbo and pressing the grab button. This move can be activated at any point, all you need is a wall, and whatever momentum you had before starting the wall run is carried. For example, if you swing into a wall and start a wall run, you will carry the momentum from the swing and quickly run along the building. The same applies to jumping. If you needed to get up a building quickly, you can charge jump into it and start a wall run. All the momentum from the jump will transfer over into the wall run, and on top of that, you can chain them together. You could do this to very quickly run up a large building, or even change your direction on a dime. Wall sprinting also allows you to do something called a slide jump. This is a technical move that probably only a speedrunner would use. A slide jump is what happens when you activate a wall sprint on almost the same frame you let go of the jump button for a charge jump. Instead of running quickly up the wall, you will know you did it right if Spider-Man does the slow wall sprint. While that slow wall sprint is happening, if you reach the end of the wall or let the left stick return to neutral, you will shoot upwards and outwards with the momentum charged up from the jump. This technique on its own is cool, but there aren't many situations where you would use it 
without going out of your way. However, slide jumping combined with swinging is something a little different and can be something that you use regularly while swinging. The reason why it's different when combined with swinging is because on top of the momentum and speed gained from a charge jump, you also have the momentum and speed gained from swinging on a web. This allows you to shoot yourself even farther and faster from a slide jump and also glide through the air. It's a little harder to do than a regular slide jump, but learning how to pull it off will let you add another move to the list of things you can do while swinging. So that's it. Now we know what kind of tools we have, but what can we make when we use them? In my opinion, you're able to build a movement system that's basically been unmatched since this game came out. One of the biggest reasons is because the amount of control you have over Spider-Man. Every form of movement performed is an input by the player. Wall running, jumping, where you shoot your web, when to boost on a web line, when to charge your jumps, when to web zip. You're constantly making all these micro decisions on where you want to go and how you want to get there. And on top of that, while you're swinging, you're never 100% in control. And I don't mean that in the negative sense. Maybe the web line you shoot is shorter or longer than you were expecting. Maybe you attempt a wall run or slide jump and make a mistake. On top of making your own decisions on how you want to get around, you're constantly adapting to whatever mistakes you make or whatever the game throws at you. Because even though this movement system is great, it's still an old game that could really benefit from a remaster. And just so we're clear, I'm not saying the game is so jank that you can't become a master of the controls. Only liars and quitters make that excuse. I'm just saying it's not perfect. Speed is also a very important component in what makes the movement so fun. Spider-Man can go insanely fast when you have all the swing speed upgrades, and trying to maintain that max speed is incredibly satisfying, and it's satisfying because it's not easy. And if you don't care about learning how to swing, you will be smacking against walls left and right. And some people won't like that. And that's fine, because those people can just go play 2018. But for other people, every time they smack into a wall, that's motivation to keep getting better. And I don't think there's a more rewarding movement system to learn in any single player open world game to date. I can spend 30 minutes to an hour just swinging around in the game easily and I did plenty of times for this video. Swinging while moving insanely fast, bringing together wall runs and slide jumps, using the web zip and long jump when appropriate, doing the tricks which I didn't even go over, and forming your own unique style of swinging around New York by combining all the different moves and techniques at your disposal is something wholly unique to this game. Remember what I said earlier when I described the word smoothment. Movement that's smooth, but on top of that, movement that's very technical. Spider-Man 2 is the embodiment of that for a single player game. And because of that, I'm going to be giving it a 10 out of 10 on the first ever Shmovement review. And it is basically the golden standard for Shmovement in any single player game.